So this is the new Janome Memory Craft 15,000. We just got it in yesterday and I was so excited to unpack it and I sewed off on it and I am thrilled with it. First of all you can see that it has a much bigger screen than the previous machine had. The screen savers are all sewing related pictures. By touching the screen now it wakes up the machine. You'll notice how it lights up everywhere with a bonus light by just flipping this out you've got a bonus light directly over your sewing and you can direct that bonus light if you don't want it up so high it has a little bit of movement in there it has a wonderful needle threader built onto it and I'll show it to you here quickly so before you use the needle threader what you do is you lock out your machine and that's very important because uh, otherwise you might accidentally hit the wrong button and then you could damage your needle uh, threader but this way, just watch this, all I do is press the button, it's threaded, and I did nothing but touch a button. Now all you have to do is just pull the thread back, and we're done. You'll notice that it comes with a nice large table, we want to remember to unlock the machine when we're finished threading, and this flips up so that you can see all your stitches that you've got built in. But what it comes with is a nice extension table that fits around your machine. You have the option of using it or not. And this is quite cute too. This is an accessory box. <clears throat> so it unzips and you've got three layers of storage in here. And then the bottom layer. So you can see how organized you can be with all your sewing accessories and it comes with your walking foot, quarter inch foot, free motion quilting foot, zipper foot of course and all your other feet that are standard with your machine. So converting this to an embroidery machine is actually very very simple. The first thing we want to do is just extend our, our embroidery arm and you'll notice how long it is. It's long because it does huge embroidery designs. So now to convert it to an embroidery machine, you just press the picture of the sewing machine and you get a nice little stylist with your machine so you don't get fingerprints all over your screen. So I'm converting it now from a sewing machine to an embroidery machine. Again, a very attractive screen comes forward, very basic, giving you your basic stitches, alphabet, or your edit. You just touch the section that you want to select your stitch from and scroll down to your next page of stitches. It has very large designs built in. This is one sample that I just did yesterday. That's the size of the hoop I did it in. And this is called Sashiko Quilting. It has a section of embroidery designs that are related to Sashiko Quilting. Here it gives you your <clears throat> different options for categories. Paging down or up goes to your next option. Going back to the sashiko, when you touch the picture of the sashiko, your window opens up and this has two pages of sashiko stitches in there. You just flip back and forth between them. Um, if you want to edit on your machine, you would select the edit button. Select your hoop size here, first of all, what hoop you want to work in. Then you would go back to your home button and select uh, what design you want to work with. And it brought it to the middle of the screen. Here in your edit bu button, you can maneuver that design around. Actually, this one doesn't show up very well because it's not very colored. I'm going to go to my embroidery designs again and select a different design because uh, it's just not showing up bright enough for me even to see. That one shows up very good, okay? So you can maneuver it around, move it. You have other options. Flip it upside down. If you had a left or right, you could mirror image it. You can copy it. You can size it. So here I can reduce the size of it, which um, is now going to allow me to copy it and have two hearts. So I can copy it move it over and I have two hearts I can copy again if I had enough room 
the larger screen, the larger hoop would give you more sewing area. This is, I selected the smallest hoop, which is the 14. You get, I believe, four or five hoops with your machine so that you can um, uh, make your designs larger or smaller. <clears throat> you can bring the alphabet in at the same time. Here you have font styles that you can choose from. And then you would just select the alphabets that you want to sew and say OK. And it brings it to the center. And you can position it, top or bottom. You can arc those as well if you like. If you want to have an arc on them, you can arc up or down. OK, this way if you like. You can spread them further apart, bring them closer together. So see how you can customize a design to the way you want it to do. Then you also have a memory file folder in here where you can store it in the machine on a memory file folder or you can store it on a little memory stick. The new thing about this machine, however, is the fact that it is Wi-Fi friendly. There's your little Wi-Fi uh, indicator there and you just press on it, make sure it's turned on, select your network that you're going to work with, say OK, and it's connected to your Wi-Fi that you have in your home. Come in this door, have a look at them. We've got stock coming in next week again. Right now this is the only one I have, but you can come in and I'll be glad to give you a demo and you can give it a try.